Hey y'all, good evening. Good evening. It is Monday night, okay? And I'm in the mood to bake a cake. Uh, this cake is really, really special to me. I love it. It's an Italian cream cake. Um, I told a story the last time I made it on camera that a girlfriend of mine used to bring this cake to me on my birthdays, okay? Before I had ever heard of it. Um, and that was 30 plus years ago. So I learned how to make it myself many year, years ago. So when I want it, I can have it. Okay. So we're going to get started on this Italian cream cake. All right, y'all. Now this is an easy cake. It's, it's easy, but it has a couple steps to it. Okay. And one of those steps is to separate my eggs, my yolk from my whites. And I've done that. I have five large eggs and I have the whites from those five eggs. Okay. And what we're going to do, I'm going to put these egg whites into my mixer here and we're going to beat these egg whites until they're stiff okay make sure your bowl is clean and it is dry okay otherwise these egg whites won't do what they're supposed to do okay so we're going to beat these i'm going to time it okay and i'm going to beat these until they become stiff Okay, y'all, it's only been a minute, but I wanted to let you know when you beat your egg whites, beat them on the highest speed, okay? It's only been a minute. Should just be a couple of minutes more. All right, y'all, it's been three minutes. Let's see what, what we have. It looks like it's close. Okay, we're almost there. Probably another minute or so, okay? All right, y'all, close to four minutes. Not quite, but almost four minutes, okay? So we're going to sit these egg whites aside. Now, if you were making this meringue to put on top of a pie, you would have added sugar, okay? I didn't add anything to these egg whites because we're going to fold them into our cake that already has sugar in it. We're going to switch out bowls and we're going to get on that cake. All right, let's get started with this cake, y'all. I'm going to tell you the ingredients for this cake, okay? I have one stick of butter in this bowl which is a half cup of butter. I also have a half cup of shortening, okay? And it comes this way. You can buy three of these, three halves, okay, in a package. And it's just a lot easier when you're measuring, if it's already measured out for you. So I'm going to use that this evening, all right? I'm going to take, I'm going to mix these two here together. And I just need to mix them a little bit because they are soft. Make sure everything you are using is at room temperature, okay? I'm going to mix that a little bit together uh, with my half cup of butter and my half cup of shortening. I'm going to put in two cups of sugar. I have two cups of all-purpose flour. And to that all-purpose flour, I added one teaspoon of baking soda. And I sifted that flour and that baking soda together, okay? I did sift it. Okay, that's enough of that. So now what we're going to do, we're going to put our sugar in. You stay right there. We're going to put our two cups of sugar in and we're going to let this beat. Okay, and you know, you let it beat until it becomes real fluffy. That's usually around seven minutes for me. Okay, start it slow. Until you get all that sugar in there. And then you can turn it up a little bit. Okay, we're going to let it go for about seven mi minutes. All right, y'all, it's been a good seven minutes. Look at that beautiful, beautiful batter so far, okay? So now what we're going to do, remember, I have my five egg yolks, okay, that I separated from those whites, and my yolks kind of got mixed up here a bit, but it doesn't matter. We're going to put in a little bit at a time, okay? Try to get one in at a time. That was one, I know, that's two. That was three, and the fifth one is kind of broken up, so we're just gonna add it on in now. In fact, let's be sure we get all of it. 
because it was broke. Okay. I want all of my egg. All right. And we're going to take and we're going to beat this just a little bit more. And then we'll start adding our flour. And also, I didn't tell you that I, I'm using buttermilk. Now, I was short on buttermilk, so I had to kind of make my buttermilk here. Which you just take and add some vinegar to your milk, okay? We'll talk about that in a little bit. But let's get the rest of these eggs mixed up in here. We're going to bring our flour over. Um, a couple of ingredients I have not mentioned yet. We are going to put in a half cup of pecans. We're going to put in a cup of coconut. Okay. I have pecans. And I took some out of here, half cup, and I, and I crushed them up even more. Okay. And then I have my coconut. We're going to stir these two items into the cake. After we beat it, we'll stir them in. And then I also am going to be using just vanilla in this particular cake, okay? So we're going to take right now and scrape down our edges. All right. And we'll start alternating our flour and our milk. All right. Start alternating our flour and our milk. And there's only two cups of flour. And remember, in this flour, I have one um, teaspoon of baking soda. Okay. So that's some of our flour. We'll add it a little bit at a time. Start it slow. Start it slow. I'm going to pour in some of our buttermilk. And it's one cup of buttermilk, y'all. One cup. All right. I'm going to take and add a little bit more flour. Buttermilk. I'm going to go ahead and, and add most of that. Okay, I'm going to get the rest of my buttermilk and flour in and we'll be back. All right, y'all. I've added all of my flour and my buttermilk. Now I'm going to add about a teaspoon of vanilla, okay? And this is just about ready to stop. So we can stir in our pecans and our coconut, all right? Be back with that. All right, y'all, I've wiped down my beta. Got as much as I could off of here. Okay, and now we're just going to stir in our pecans and our coconut. Now, let me tell you, the oven, you're going to cook this cake at 350, okay, for 25 to 30 minutes. All right, I got my oven preheating right now. Let's lock that. We lost a little bit of flour. That's all right. Okay, now let's stir in our pecans, and I have them in a bag. Y'all, I got them in a bag because I crushed them up. Okay, even though they came in pieces, they were still just a little bit too big for me. But that's up to you as to how large you want your pecans, all right? And then we're going to add our coconut. And y'all, the best way to keep your coconut is to put it in the freezer. All right, that's the best way to keep it. And we're just going to take, we're going to fold this in. And remember now, we still have to add our egg whites, right? Still have to add the egg whites. 
Oh, y'all, this is gorgeous. This is absolutely gorgeous. Let's get our egg whites. Okay, got our egg whites, but let's get this mixed up pretty good. Let's go down to the bottom of the bowl. Stir it good. Because once we put the egg whites in, the only thing we want to do is kind of fold those in, okay? Gorgeous batter, y'all. And we're cooking this cake in three pans. I have three nine-inch pans. to use eight inch you can I decided on the nine inch okay now that we got that mixed in there good get that beautiful batter y'all gorgeous batter let's take and fold in our egg whites let's get them in here it's a lot of them y'all <laughs> this is five egg whites And we're going to put them all in here. Okay, and we're going to fold them in. All right, here we go. That's what helps make the cake light. And this is not a sweet cake. Let's fold them in the best way you can. That's what I do. I've got a video out there on this cake that I made, oh my goodness, probably a year and a half ago, but I wanted one now, so I said, let me go ahead on and show you all again in case you haven't seen it, okay? Gorgeous, y'all. Trying to grab it from the bottom, too. You want that egg white to go all throughout this batter, okay? And that's it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get our, our pans over here and get them loaded up. All right, y'all, I got my three pans. I grease my pans with some shortening. I put some flour in them, and I also have my little parchment rounds in here, okay? To help get them out of the pan. Certain cakes, like my chocolate cake, my carrot cake, Depends on the cake. You want to use rounds if you can. Sometimes I would take and cut the parchment paper out. We're going to try to put this in here as evenly as we can. Okay. And on this cake, we put a cream cheese frosting. Yum, yum, y'all. Yes. I never have these things even, y'all. Let me get my spatula to help me clean out this bowl to go in that last one back there. Let's get all of this out. I'm probably not in your view, and I'm sorry. Okay, let's get this one back here. If you want to use a measuring cup to make sure they're even, like if the cake is going out of the house, you can do that. I don't normally do it. Okay, spread it out in your pan. This batter is already light. I know this is going to be a good cake. All right, 350, 25 to 30 minutes. Check it around 25 minutes, okay? Use your toothpick if you need to. If it comes out clean, it's done. If it comes out wet, it's not done. Sorry, y'all. 
All right, they're go going in and we'll get on that cream cheese icing. All right, y'all, let's get on this cream cheese icing. I have about a half stick of softened butter and I cheated, y'all, because I forgot to take out my butter. So I stuck it in the microwave just for a few seconds to soften it up for me. And to that half stick of butter, I'm going to add an eight ounce block of cream cheese, okay? Now, normally what I do, if I don't have enough, if I don't make enough, because I only have one block of cream cheese in the house, a lot of times what I'll do is mix my icing with a can of store-bought cream cheese icing. Well, I don't have that either, so I'm going to have to make this work tonight, okay? I'm going to put that in the mixer. All right, I got my whisk beater on it. I'm gonna hold on to this so I can sit my spatula on it. And we're gonna mix this, all right. I'm gonna mix that up. Before we put our powdered sugar in, I'm gonna use about four or five cups of powdered sugar. I'm, I'm going to have to stretch this, okay? And we're also going to put in a little bit of vanilla flavor, all right? I'm going to let this so soften up, mix together real good, and we'll add our powdered sugar. All right, y'all, I've let that mix a good minute or so. I'm going to turn it off, and we're going to start adding in our powdered sugar, okay? I'm gonna actually try to measure it a little bit here. I think I got three cups in this right here. That's one cup. And that's two. Let's start mixing it slowly. So they can grab that powdered sugar, y'all. We're going to scrape it down. We're going to get it out of our whisk. Make sure it all combines good in there, okay? See how that's coming together? Add another cup. Powdered sugar is messy, y'all. It's messy. Okay, so that's three cups. I'm gonna continue to add and wipe off my whisk. All right, y'all, I'm adding in that fourth cup and I think that's all I might be able to put in there. Because of the amount of cream cheese that I have, let's go ahead on and put in our vanilla extract. It's about a teaspoon. You want to take and wipe your sides down again. Get it all in here. Okay. And if I need to thin that out, I can always add a drop of milk in it. Remember, we have three layers of cake. I'm sorry, y'all. I didn't mean to do that. We got three layers of cake here. All right, look at that beautiful icing. I'm watching my cakes, y'all. I'm watching my cakes. It's been 25 minutes, but they're not done. I'm going to add just a little bit more 
I finished this bag here. It's like five cups or close to it anyway. Okay. And I'll be back when this is done. All right, y'all. That's our cream cheese icing. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so that was one block of cream cheese, half stick of butter, and about four and a half cups of confectioner's sugar and a little bit of vanilla. All right, y'all. I am back with this cake. And I tell you what. I almost didn't get that bottom layer out in one piece. This cake is so moist, y'all. It is so moist. And then I have a habit of taking my cakes out of the pan before they cool all the way down. I, I never wait until they cool all the way down. Okay, but this is the kind of cake you might want to wait until it cools all the way down. So what I'm doing, this is the second layer. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead on and put our last layer on. That's still in the pan. It could even be a little bit cooler, but it's all good, y'all. It's all good. This is our last layer. I'm going to take this parchment off. Look at that cake, y'all. It's just coming apart. Oh, it's so moist. Let me clean my hands. Look at that, y'all. Mm. Look at that. And it is good. Mm. It is good. All right. Let me dry off my hands and we're going to finish icing this cake. Yes. I want y'all to try this cake. It is scrumptious. Okay, let's put our icing on this last layer here. I'm gonna hold it. It could, like I said, it could be a little bit cooler, but it's late. Let me get my icing out of here, y'all. Icing is gorgeous and it is delicious. Let me make sure I got some for the sides, y'all. Told you I might run short. Let's hope not. Okay. Now we're just going to take and pull that down around the sides. See, I shouldn't be in the kitchen late at night. Sorry, y'all. Trying to get this ice in here. I didn't stir the bottom. Okay. See how it's sliding? Because it's not quite cool enough. But don't worry about it. It's going to be all right. I'm going to stick this in the fridge. Just for a little while because I'm going to cut it tonight. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. I am going to cut it. We're going to make this cream cheese stretch. And like I said, I normally keep icing, canned icing in the house, but that last can I had, I used that. And I didn't think about it. OMG. See how it's oozing out the in between? It's because the cake is still warm. Y'all. As y'all say, that is the sloppiest cake. But don't worry about it because it tastes wonderful. Ask me how I know. <laughs> I tried the <to> crumbs. <laughs> when I almost lost that bottom layer. Yes, ma'am. See, I'm a little bit short of icing, but it's all good. 
We got enough because there's plenty in between the layers. Plenty. Y'all let your cakes cool. I've just always been in the habit of getting them out of that pan when they're warm. Usually with no problem. Okay. Now, if you want to put... Um, If you want to put some coconut on here, you can. On the outside, I think I have enough on the inside. You can put nuts on the outside. I'm trying to cover these edges, y'all. I know. Don't worry about it. All right, y'all. And I'm going to cut this tonight. And when I do, I will probably show y'all a piece of it. I'm trying to get it where it won't fall. I'm going to stick this right into the fridge, okay? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So it can cool down. All right, y'all. Thank y'all for join, joining me. It's late. I'm going to get this cake in the fridge before I lose it. Okay? <laughs> and after about a half an hour or so, I'm going to cut into it. Y'all have a good night. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you have not. And I'm going to see you real soon on another video. Bye-bye.